Those are thorns. Alright, so today's video is my first time using a wide angle lens. And there are two parts to this video. The first part is a short ish montage with music in the city, and then we switch it up to vlog mode. Enjoy. Right, switching up to vlog mode I kind of was thinking about getting like a wider lens for you know vlogging because whenever I've tried to use other lens and then like face myself you have to hold it like as far out as you can to be able to actually you know see your face I don't want to vlog face the camera whatever you want to call it too much but you know sometimes it is kind of nice to be able to explain some things but yeah, uh, we're gonna be taking some pictures, taking some video of this forest right here. Then we're gonna go to some other parks, go to some other places, check it out. That's really what I wanted an ultra wide lens for was to be able to get really cool scenery shots that include like the entire landscape. I don't know. There's not too many situations where you need it, but it does look really cool for like, I don't know if you were making like a scary movie where you were doing like a POV shot. Fix that focus. One thing I'm noticing is even though it's like so wide and captures everything, it's not gonna be very good for like far away landscapes or anything like that. Because it kind of makes things look farther away than they are. So if you just so if you just do like a far away landscape, it's not gonna look too great. But if you put yourself like in the landscape, you can get some really interesting shots. I think whenever you have like a subject close up as well as a good looking background and then you kind of use that subject to move off of, I think that's when, I think that's when that lens really shines but you know, I'm gonna keep trying out, trying different techniques and things to see what looks best. But yeah, like this, I think it looks cool and all but if you kind of grab a subject, this isn't the perfect angle but Grab a subject and then kind of move off of that. That is where I think the lens looks really cool, but you know, slush. Another bridge. Try a low angle. Oh, that's that's interesting. It's hard to do in a lot of situations, but if you can like submerge yourself within the environment, like here, there's a bridge, so it's not too difficult. That is really cool, cause like. 
like in the city when I was in between buildings and I could look up and have like a circle. I'll put a picture of what I'm talking about. I could have like a circle of, I could have like a circle of buildings like all in the same picture. So that's where I think this lens really shines as well because <laughs> it's the only lens that can do that because of that wide angle obviously. There's some keep moving up in the bush up there. I, I tried to be quiet at first, but it, it's, it's gone. It keeps shifting around up in there. So, the, so this is like what I was talking about. how because of, there's something being on both sides and there's kind of a little canopy above the river. If you kind of get in between all four of those so that they're all in the shot, the ground, and you have something on the left and something on the right as well as something above, it creates a very unique perspective and looks this looks like some type of video game <laughs> like that that's pretty similar to what I was talking about in the city the lower I get the more it's gonna be able to include and only a wide angle is gonna be able to get something at every single size so I'm like surrounded almost that it's pretty cool I mean, obviously, you'd want to, like, shift up to it or something, depending on what you're using it for, obviously, but... If you're, like, eye level, it's kind of a cool POV shot, but if you get in the environment, that's a shot nothing else can get other than a wide-angle lens, but... Okay, I think this is like the perfect spot to explain what I was talking about a little bit ago. So, basically, you know, it's a cool looking environment, you know. But that shot's not going to look... And by the way, I, I really apologize if the focus is not too great. This is my first time using lens, so I have no clue if this stuff is in focus. But if you kind of get a lot closer, whether you use that to your advantage or you get kind of in the path. That's gonna look a lot more interesting, but no clue how good this is gonna look. Come on. Can we pull? Did it look cool? I can nearly tell. Let's close up subject. Those are thorns. Oh my. That is sick. Most of these orange are so high. I want to get like one as a subject close up. There we go. And then kind of. Oh yeah. That's an interesting angle. If you just. Ooh. It's probably really difficult to tell on the wide angle lens, but that path goes so far out. This could be a really cool shot because there's orange up top. So if we kind of get up where the orange is and pull, that did not look too great, I don't think. Then you kind of see the branches. I don't think that one looks too hot, but look at this. I don't know if I've seen this many leaves. <laughs> Where? It just gets bigger and bigger. Holy crap. I mean, it's kind of like this with any lens, but like I'm noticing right now is I have like so many different vibrant colors are popping out. And when I look at the screen, all I see is like a bunch of dead tree trunks, but in reality, it's really colorful. And maybe that is one fault with the wide angle lens since it's like so far back, you don't really have those things popping out at you, but I was about to leave, but these like five, 10 trees were just really popping out to me as vibrant. It is also sprinkling a tiny bit, so we got to Go fast, but environment. There we go. It is raining a little bit, and 
you know, I don't have a gimbal and we were kind of in a little ditch there, so it's not gonna look amazing because I'm in a little bit of a hurry and I don't want to ruin the camera, but. The stone wall. That is cool. It's like a canopy. Draw it down. What is in there? Oh! Probably leads down to that creek. If it wasn't raining, I would definitely find a way to crawl down in there, but. Yeah. Oh! Police, man. Don't arrest me, please. Thank you.